All right, let's get a read from the House right now to Arizona Republican Congressman Trent Franks on all of this. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Yeah, Neil. Uh, yeah. I'm always told, and you're close to this than I am, but that the House is much easier to get this through than it will be in the Senate. Is that your sense? Well, there's no doubt about that. The arcane or really more likely insane rules of the Senate make almost everything impossible. That's a little different with the tax code. And when you look at this tax code, Neil, you know, we often talk about the reality of death and taxes. This tax code taxes us to death and then it taxes us again when we die. We've got three. Uh, I mean, we've just got an enormous challenge here with the people's dissatisfaction with the tax code. And uh, I'm convinced that there's more hope of getting this done than, than we've had in a long time. And maybe the Senate rules won't be so difficult uh, with the particular subject that we're dealing with. Do you ever think, I know that you're, you're looking at it from the House's perspective, as you should, you're a big deal there, but in the Senate is concerned that it won't be such an easy vote and that your colleague in the Senate, John McCain, in your fine state, would would be an unreliable vote. In fact, he might not vote for this, just like he hasn't voted for a number of these health care repeal efforts on the part of Republicans that the president needs to get Democratic votes to, 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 to compensate for that. And other Republican senators, maybe like Susan Collins of Maine or Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, who might similarly bolt. Are you worried about that? Well, I guess I'm concerned about it. I think Senator McCain will end up voting for this. Uh, I think that, you know, he recognizes Has he that he told we you that. Uh, I'm not going to no. I'm not going to characterize what he has said, but it's just my opinion that he'll end up voting for it. I hope he will. But but the bottom line is that uh, the people of this country are just absolutely tired of this tax code. And I, I would be more concerned about this uh, effort to try to make state and local taxes not deductible. I think that's a vital part of this plan. I think that, that we may have some pushback from some of the, the members in those states that have heavy taxation. But I hope that they will just understand that the way that they can put pressure on their own state governments to reduce taxes and to increase the economic expansion of their own state is to vote for this reform. Now, this president laid out just in a few moments ago in the, in the speech that he gave an amazing case, I thought. I think he's the most uh, pro-tax pre payer president we've had uh, in my lifetime, and, uh, and no one has the business acumen as president. Yeah, that this but you man know, does. your colleague Peter King from New York, Long Island, New York in particular, where, of course, taxes are quite high. Um, he, he fears for his constituents it's going to be a wash, even allowing for the higher standard deduction and the like, and that uh, he doesn't think it's fair that his residents uh, end up getting what he calls a wash and everyone else in the country is getting a tax cut. What do you say to him? Well, I, I think that over, uh, it overlooks the, the expansion that's going to occur in the economy. I will make a prediction that within two years, uh, if this tax code, this new plan goes into place, that we will see greater government revenue and we will see an incredible expansion of this economy, which will absolutely uh, benefit everyone in the country. Do you think these tax cuts, if they are voted on this year, should be retroactive to the beginning of the year? No, absolutely. But I don't know that that will occur. That may be a, a negotiating point at some, you know, some stage of, of the process. But I, this is a historic opportunity. And, you know, a country is what it produces many times, and, and a, right. a government is what it spends. And this is our opportunity to transform the nation, and I hope we succeed. Trent Franks, thank you, sir. Very good seeing you. Thank you, sir.